after this session, and probably after the next one, which is probably going to be the big battle, we are going to take a short hiatus of at least a month. I know it sounds long, but I want to give you guys time to start making those NP. Oh, I forgot about that. My bad. Uh... I've already been working on it. Okay. Well, I'm going to provide you each with one character sheet that you work on. Ooh, exciting. Now, before you create said characters, I want to be really clear. You have to pass it by me or anything else before you actually, like, guarantee something. Because they yeah. might have a special race that might have a special ability. That and we have to see if it works with your character. You know, uh, you know, we have to work through your your backstory and you know, all that good jazz. So, like we're taking the short hiatus for the sake of you. You know, to take your time to develop that character to put enough care into it. I still need to be short. Well, yeah. anything below um, a changeling. Considered lower tier on the changeling list. So basically, basic human elves, uh, uh, half elves actually, half orcs, uh, humanoids in general. Um, here, what's lower on the total pole than you? Uh, undead are slimes. Uh, let's see here. Uh, some demons are an option. Just look through the monster manual if you have any ideas of what you want. I can tell you whether or not you have the capability of actually summoning said creature or making said creature. All right. I guess I'm pretty lucky. I'm pretty high up there in the race system. Well, that's because you're you evolved. Yeah, to the final stage. Yeah. Your girl bosses. Yay. Just tell me when everyone's ready. And basically, we can get this whole party started. Uh, everything's recorded. We're already rolling. <sighs> Last time we left our heroes. Yes, I know it's unusual that I'm the one updating us because I don't usually do it because I feel lazy, but I'm in the mood for it. Last time we left our heroes, we met at Corn Village. Everybody met a familiar face in the form of Ruka, a minotaur woman, massive size. From their old days of adventuring in this new world of theirs. Come to find out that she was in a uh, caused by a poison slime who uh, was quickly pulled out by force by the spell of Fritz and Amy by Rosu. And very quickly, um, Minotaur woman, uh, she woke up without a problem, find out that her kids were taken by beings calling themselves the of Tobe Forest. There's two of them. And a massive uh, alliance between goblins, cannibal goblins, some kind of spellcaster, and ogres are headed for Karn Village. Also come to find out that Oruka Child, which is a surprise to Rozu and Fritz. Uh, Fritz not knowing. And now, and also, also left our heroes with silence and synth doing a waterboard interrogation of a very unfortunate cannibal goblin and who the girl oh Emer, what are you doing okay this is after we wake up right yes long rest uh -huh. um you might want to say what hildrick was doing during that time sorry oh, I, I didn't quite catch that sorry Hildrick, last session since you were away we kind of had your character helping the people of the village build houses okay. while they were off Slightly off-put by your size and color, they accepted the help nonetheless. What is your character doing? Hmm. Um. Oh, I guess Hildrek's main focus, aside from fixing houses, is to try and fix his reputation. I guess uh, undead gets a bad rap and can't go well, around looking like a monster. You're undead. Oh, sick. Okay, they still think I'm a Goliath. Awesome. Okay. Yeah, with hair, <laughs> which is off-putting for them. Yes. Um. Male Goliath hair. Yes, not as outputting as the troll in the village. <laughs> Who I'm probably comparable to in size, now that I think about it. Uh, you're actually bigger than him. Oh, wow. Um, you know what? Uh, this troll might be my best friend. Maybe we could, like, bar or wrestle a little bit. So there's someone my uh, side. You see the troll in the corner? Uh, he is currently wearing a crown with a flower cape, currently surrounded by children. Uh, who 
are just busy just hanging around him, you know, telling him stories, and he's just very enamored. He seems like a gentle creature. Ooh. I, I'm feeling enamored. I I want to hear some stories. Okay, so you wander to <laughs> it, and you hear that one of the kids has everyone else, including Frogu, who is just has his hands in his head in his hands, with his feet kind of you know kicking back and forth while on his stomach, just you know, doing that kind of teenage girl kind of stereotypical thing while talking on the phone. <laughs> yeah, I I know what you mean. <laughs> um. And one of the kids was like, and then, lo and behold, on my plate was nothing but broccoli, and everybody starts screaming. Ah! <laughs> That's terrifying. Uh, broccoli, no way. <laughs> they all look at you. Wow, you're tall. Um, yeah, I am tall. You're pretty, you're pretty tall yourself. I don't even come up to your kneecaps. Oh, my tall. <laughs> um, tall for... Humans, right? Kyle. <laughs> tall for human children. <laughs> Ogu. Ogu like tall man. Tall man like Grogu. <laughs> he shoves you and like you go back at least five feet, which is surprising. <laughs> Dear Lord, I'm gonna shove him back playfully. Goes back ten. <laughs> <laughs> Fun. I think I'm gonna like it here. No, oh, Ogu has story. Ogu was once. Ogu did many, but then a group of people came back, came around, asked spell on Frogu. Oh, Frogu. That's it. <laughs> hmm, I wonder who that could have been. Yeah, I do Be quiet. wonder. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, he rolled so low on that intelligence when, when you put the spell on him, it changed his entire personality. <laughs> I had no idea I would do that, okay? <laughs> Wait, you did what to Grogu? I made him best boy. Okay, so what Grogu. happened was he was originally part of a group of, like, ogres who were attacking, attacking the group. Out of character, of course. Like, they can't really respond to this. But basically, uh, she cast a spell against Grogu, and he just sat down, gave up, and he rolled a natural one. And his intelligence is a negative two, so that that goes from a zero to a negative one to a negative two. <laughs> Dear you know, Lord. You know the spell Calm Emotions? Oh. Yeah, so basically what happened well. was it worked too well, and now he is a very gentle creature. <laughs> There's not a bit of fight in him, is there? Oh my god. No, he actually helped us, Scooby. <laughs> Uh, you see, you see Frogu actually, uh, you see, hear one of the little girls scream, only snaps his head to the corner, and you see a spider on the side of the thing, and you just see him whack! The whole of that section of the wall, which consists of 50 large logs, ripple a little with the sheer force of his, like, slap. Um, I'm I'm flabbergasted. Good good job. Yes. Frogu protect, and uh, you just see the little girl just thank you, Frogu, and she gives him a Frogu. How how are you such a iconic figure? You're amazing. Frogu, ding, acting. I I aspire to be like the Frogu. word. Truly, big I'm, thing. I'm... Ogre, bad ogre, bad ogre. Bad ogre. He turns around, starts pointing a finger at what looks to be a, a a very withered head on one of the watchtowers of an ogre hanging slightly. What the heck? Bad ogre. Bad. Bad. So go to the corner and apologize. You dead. Ah, <laughs> uh, I, I I don't even know what I just witnessed. Um, you know what? Good job, bro. Who you like you? What name? I'm, I'm sorry. I, I think you cut off. Ogu like you. What you name? Oh, um, Hilderic. Sorry. Um, Hildery, yes. Hildery, Hillary. <laughs> Hillary friend. Yes, yes. Hillary friend. <laughs> Broku friend. What? Hillary funny name for big tough guy. <laughs> Broku silly name for big tough guy. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Small. Say Hildrick, are you serious? 
hey, he came after me first. He's the first one to actually give you a nickname, so. <laughs> <laughs> he can't give me a nickname and then say it's stupid. That's mean. No, no, he said it was funny. No. Okay, okay. You know, I, I, I didn't mean that, Frogu. Uh, I, I let my anger What's stupid out. mean? Uh, <laughs> not smart. Oh, Ogu smart. Ogu genius. <laughs> Frogu figure out if eat something who expelled gas from mouth and butt. Really? Out of there. Ogu very smart. I, I don't really expel anything anymore. So uh, maybe you're onto something, Frogu. Proud of this. Oh, no. Victory. As if he just won. <laughs> Truly, truly, I'm in the presence of a master. I... <laughs> Fro Frogu, uh, I I don't even know what to say. What I I I, I can't. Th this town just isn't isn't big enough for the two of us, literally, because we're we're gonna trample each other. Yes, it is. No, never. There's new houses being built. Really? You're not very smart, are you? <laughs> Which direction are these houses being built in? That way, and they he. Uh, beyond the wall. Uh, the goblin yeah. said they're going to ex 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 as they're going to make wall bigger. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, uh, the goblin well going to be fun. Uh, oh, you like digging? <laughs> nice and. I I think my intelligence score is slowly dropping. <laughs> it's fine. I'm pretty sure by now. Most of us has woken up from our sleep or whatever. Yeah. Yeah, so let, let's let's leave Hildrick there to question <laughs> question his <laughs> life choices. You <laughs> mean Hillary? <laughs> yeah, Hillary. Hillary. <laughs> to make a check on whether or not he could pronounce it. He can, he got a two, so that's a zero. So there's no way nice. how he can pronounce that. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> that is kind of fun. The Frogu and the... What is that, a Harry Potter thing? <laughs> I think you should discover gravity, though. Yeah, right. uh, okay. so, uh, so, uh, you guys wake up um, at a nice long rest. You're very well rested. Uh, what are y'all... Wakey, wakey, eggs and breaky. We're gonna kill some people. <laughs> what are y'all all doing? Probably all grouped together again. Yeah. Uh, probably. Uh... Okay, sorry, go ahead. Probably right. try not to glare at Synth in silence as she All says. Right, what did we do? <laughs> Come on, it was good. <laughs> <laughs> Why? You sounded so offended. <laughs> I have no idea what you did last session, but she's remembering the past and she can't help but glare at you too. It's time to breaky breaky. What? Wakey, wakey, breaky, breaky. Guess who I no, found in the cabin? Not too far away from here. Any guesses? I didn't hear a word. I said, guess who I found in the cabin? Not too far away from here. A mentor woman, I forget her name. Correct. And you probably already know that her children's missing. Because I'm pretty yeah. sure I got Fritz to tell you that. And I haven't had the heart to tell her why her husband's not with her. And she smiles this strenuous smile on her face. Uh, for genuine hell, it's a little bit blinding. Fritz just goes, not it. Fritz, huh? Fritz, and I get a perception check. You're not part of this conversation. You're probably wandering around looking for food. Uh, okay. okay. Perception check. I do not press performance or the other thing. <laughs> Oof. Oh, with the modifier. If it wasn't with the modifier, that would have been very good. No. <laughs> but it's a 13, so it's different. Um, your perception, you do manage to find the breakfast table. Uh, there's okay. a lot of goblins, uh, like, currently at the breakfast table. They look up, see you in your form. You see one in particular walks up to you. It's a woman goblin. She looks a little bit older, a little bit gruntled, but you do see she's very buff. There you go. Here's your breakfast. You have oh, to ration you. it out for now. So only one bowl per person. All right. Thank you. I give her a smile. No problem. Also, a warning. There's only one piece of meat. Oh, not good. We're limited. Fortunately, those ogres have been taking all the game. Hmm. Well, hopefully whenever we uh, end this little fight here, we could uh, you know, 
back to normal life. You know what I mean? Ugh, that sounds nice. It'll be nice to hunt down a nice big buck, kill it in the head, and cook it. Yeah. Circle of life. Find down its antlers. She just goes around, like, just find down its antlers. <laughs> My character gets what she's throwing down. <laughs> yep. You sit down. Soup is east. It's awesome. Clearly, whoever made it, not the best chef in the world, but clearly they are trying. It's a crime against culinary. Hey, Sorry. Now? I said it was a crime against culinary. All <laughs> culinary arts. How can you mess up the soup? Oh. Well, it's probably because this lamb is it. raw. <laughs> he burnt the grilled no, cheese. Probably lack of supplies. What? Lack of they did what? They burnt the grilled cheese. How dare? How do you that? burn I'm grilled gonna... cheese? Kill you just look all. at it. Kill them all. Kill them all. <laughs> I gotta show yeah. you. The only thing worse is like <laughs> microwave grilled cheese. I don't even like grilled cheese, but like, how the fuck do you burn it? Actually, <laughs> the guy from Hell Kitchen burned his grilled cheese sandwich. I have a video of it. That's so send atrocious. It. Send it to me, send it to me, but we gotta focus on this session. There's a lot of things <laughs> okay. that we gotta Yo, get through. Sorry. We really gotta focus. Um, Fluffy, it's not the greatest soup out there, and you do find the one piece of meat. It's just a general ball of meat. Uh, when you put it against your tongue, you can tell that if you weren't a slime, you would probably gag, because they clearly used every part of that bowl. Let's just say it's not a bowl, and Ah, Rocky Mountain Oysters. Ew. In the distance. I mean, it's nasty. Anyway, uh, anyway, but it's passable, it's decent, edible, or what it is, and if you weren't a slime, you would be hawking it up. But it's passable, and or Phil, um, I'll... What are you doing? I'm gonna come down once I get all my stuff together. Okay. They give you one bowl. Can I sniff it? Like meat, potatoes, and carrots. Can I eat it? Uh, you managed... It taste. Have you ever had big feet? Yes. Imagine bull feet. There we go. That's what you get a taste of. Very tough. Edible. Greatest thing again. Edible. Uh, I swallow the one bite. I take. get up and leave. Uh, one of the goblins see you leave the entire bowl. Grabs it. Bounce the whole thing. I had two pieces of meat. <laughs> um, Rozu. Uh, silence. She's probably just going to grab like an apple or something. But uh, you do see yeah. um, see um, uh, someone sitting outside of the normal people. Uh, looks to be a young lady with shock of reddish brown hair. Holes on her face, very tan eyes. Uh, wearing leather armor and eating a salad. Wait. She sees you wandering around looking for food and she was like, Hey, you want a bowl? Uh, sure. You're that retired adventurer from yesterday. Yep. He places a bowl of uh, salad in front of you. That's lettuce, spinach, um, uh, carrots, uh, cucumbers, slices of tomato. Joy. Thank you. I know how you feel. I'm not one, one much for me. Well, I can't say if she looks at the so-called soup. I can't say that's very appealing in the first place. Either. Yeah. Yeah, when the goblins say they use every part of the animal... They mean it literally. I think that slime got the poor bull's um, family jewels. Believe it or not, I think that might be fine with them. Out of character? I've had it before. I want to know. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> Old testicles. Huh. The best part is supposed to be the tongue. Possibly. Never had tongue before, but anyway. Um, uh, She calmly just sits there and eats. Doesn't like really talk all that much. She just mentions one or two. Oh. I was here for help with the extermination. Yep, got the mission from the guild. Came over. Ah, how time someone got up. She grabbing a fork full of just salad and just was like, I do have a plan. Take care of most of the problem. I don't know much about. Wait, do I know anything about the cannibal goblins? I believe you were the one. Oh, well, actually... yeah, you no. were the one who actually figured it out. Wait, I no, think. no. Was that silence? I think that was silent. Silence. Was it? Um, I wasn't there for that. <laughs> yeah, with your um, check, you wouldn't really know about Noble Goblins all that much. I was going to say I didn't get a check because I wasn't there. Or you did get a check because you heard the term Goblin before. Like, you did a history check, I remember that much, and you didn't get all that high, so basically what happened was all that much. 
We just know uh, that they were a thing in Yggdrasil. Oh yeah, that's right. Um, I remember oh. you telling us that they were afraid of me. Yep, exactly. Yep, that's from Silence. Check. Oh, that was from you. Oh, well, you told me. Them. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's why I said he needs to eat them. Okay. Did I not relay the information about them at all, or? Well, uh, in game, no. Not... Okay, sorry. Anyway, um, she was like, "Well, I got a huge plan." Villagers are currently working on it currently. It will help preventing any of those little buggers from coming to our walls again. Do you know their weaknesses or anything? I don't yep. know too much about them besides they don't like slimes. Ogres really hate most. They like smelling their prey, looking, hunting them out. But we're pre preparing stink bombs that we can throw at them, use them. They don't have very good eyesight. They don't. Excellent okay. night hunters, though. So they have a disadvantage during the day? Yes. Although regular goblins, the reason why they form this alliance is to help them with that factor. Although, when it comes to goblins, those guys I will need your help with. If you can focus on taking care of the goblin problem, that'd be fantastic. Are they also sensitive to light? These goblins are just strength in them. But I know what doubts have told us. But they're growing numbers by the day. Actually, that should be points her fork. A little bit of salad on it. You see, you see a man walk into the uh, cafe uh, area where they're eating out in the open. Hey, Barry! Uh, see anything? They get, increase their numbers? Yeah. How are they now? Goblin-wise or general-wise? Goblin. Thanks for a second. See him go. 150. Drops her fork. That just skyrocketed. Yeah, they got these new blood goblins that are more ferocious than the other ones. Blood goblins? No, new blood goblins. Uh, basically, they're they're new to the group. Though the problem is, I've never seen such goblins in my life. Well, the fact that they don't walk on their feet is troubling. Wait, what? Yeah, they have these large tentacle-like things growing out of them that them walk. Can I do a check on those? Yeah, sure. What do I need to nature. roll? Uh, history or nature? Oh, both suck. Dang it. Uh, I guess history. That's not 18. too bad. No goblins exist, as far as you know, have tents growing out of them, but you do know that there is a parasite that exists that attaches on the bodies of the dead and control them from within. Oh, you God, be kidding me. Undead goblins. But they're not undead. But you say it attaches to or, the dead. Yes, the parasites do. They they eat themselves through the orbs, eating everything within, and they use the body as a skin. Oh, ew. Not like the cockroach from Black. She makes this face as like, ugh, a parasite. Yeah, these things are not undead. They're just paras parasites. Uh, yep. Oh. That's troubling. Well, we're going to have to strategize about that later, huh, Britta? <sighs> um, it is 8, but really quickly, I have to go bathroom. Take a 10-minute break. Okie dokie. Mm, I'm not going to lie, these goblins are sounding super fun. I've been itching for some combat. Yeah, probably next session we'll be doing the combat, but oh. <laughs> no! Yeah. Darn. No, this gives us a chance to set up traps and everything. True. That's very true. Because I doubt the parasites will be afraid of Fritz. Hmm, parasites. I mean, I think they would be afraid of me, because I'm going to eat Well, if you insist, eat up. Yummy. Because the thing is, parasite tries getting inside me. It's just going to die. Well, depends on the parasite. It might be acid resistance, because there are parasites like that. True. Parasites do sound nasty. I don't have anything to deal with that. Yeah, they attach to the dead, Eldrick. Technically, technically, I'm not dead. Wait, if Just... they to the dead, then they, have, they need to request it. Uh, okay, I'll make sure to crush any parasites before they get the chance. Yeah, before they burrow into your undead skin. Yeah, because uh, mm. that would really suck. Uh. <laughs> All right. <laughs> oh. <sighs> We haven't had a huge oh. battle since the graveyard thing, and... It's about to be one. <laughs> it's the mons. And the graveyard thing was stopped short due to a natural one. <laughs> you woke up somebody who was not very happy. <laughs> 
Yeah, I pointed it at the skeleton, and I read the skeleton. <laughs> I still remember that. That is so fucking hilarious, honestly. <laughs> he did it. <laughs> I still remember, like, the, the thumbnail we used. It was like, he did it. No, he did it. I <laughs> had to put that on the thumbnail. Oh, yeah. Do you want me to throw it? Do you want me to throw it? You gotta give me the squeaky toy, boy. You gotta give me a squeaky toy. Look at it. Oh, somebody set the door. Me. That's what she said. Her, her, her. Oh, God. Man, I wish they would have brought back Righteous Midas. <laughs> righteous Midas. Ow. If you're wondering Righteous Midas from 3.5, it makes you big, but also protects you. It's it's the full package. Wow, we. The only thing that could hurt you is if it's if it is considered magic, I think. Like that. Oh. No way to give you DR against creature. <laughs> <laughs> oh, goodness. That's it. I remember it was just really great for down on righteous mind. Divine. You know what also is great about mowing down the undead? The mower. Yeah, in zombie movies, like, like you know the ones where, like, they clearly can't run? Like, the mm -hmm. zombies clearly can't run. I don't like the people, like, grab, like, a boat, go out into the ocean. Like, yeah, anytime they need them. supplies, they would go back to shore and just clear out that area and then go back out. Uh, there actually have been things I'd... I know, I'm just... Like, the ones I've seen. Just there's still issues that you can run into, accidents happen. Oh, like yeah. That. That's why you get a ship big enough to where there would be space to do the, the medical stuff. Uh, the only issue that I have with, if you're doing a boat issue with it, is you have to rely on getting Oh, no, I'm talking about, like, a cemetery kind of one, hard by wind. Ah. Got one big enough to where several people can live on it. It'll just take a little while for you to get places, but... Oh, yeah, but hey, at least uh, you have the funny. option of, like, saving gas whenever you need to go to shore as an emergency. Like, have one that had, like, get a motor, pop it onto that, just go from there. Not perfect, but hey, it works. Dude, I might apply for this. Sorry, back. All right, what happened? Um, Mom came home. Oh, he forgot yay. to unlock the door for herself. And she brought chicken. No, she came back from a date. And she brought chicken. No. <laughs> What's with the chicken? I don't know. For chicken. He's hungry again. Oh, Same. No. Just in general, in the mood for chicken. I'm not hungry. I'm just worried now. Like yesterday, I was in the mood. For okay. Anyway, Peach. let's get back to yeah, fish. Anyway, um, get back to storyline. Is everyone back? No, I'm. Yeah, bro. Uh oh. <clears throat> okay. Um, as you all are going uh, the thing after it, they all clean up. They grab the bowls you have um used and start cleaning them out. See the leader, uh, the chief of the village, um, actually walk out of his house with a barrel synth and empty it out. I wonder why he's emptying it out. Out at the very end. <sighs> Can you hear me now? Yes. Yep. Yep. Okay. Basically, he empties out a barrel full of water. He looks at you and nods. For why he's emptying out a barrel full of water. Casually a random person. Is that a random person? That's yeah, the it's mayor. The chief of the village. It's the chief. Oh, of the village. Damn. Okay. Then yeah, I'll walk up and I ask him what's up. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you did dunk a goblin into my drinking water, so. Oh, yeah. That's the. Uh... My bad, not gonna lie. Oh, no worries. I just want to make sure that this is washed out thoroughly before we used it again. But thank you for offering your assistance, hey, Beryl. No problem. You're letting us crash in your uh, tribe, and, uh, you know, we can, at least we can do it. Torture some goblins for you. No, he's asking you to clean out the barrel you so selfishly filthied. Oh, sure, I'll help. Uh, it takes you maybe 30 minutes to clean it completely out. It's fine. He just sets it outside right next to the house and don't set the sky. Puts out his tongue, closes his mouth, looks at the sky. What do you look at? Wa walks over to one of the um, villagers. It's going to be rain. Based. Prepare your barrel, yes, chief. Do we all hear this? Yes. I just kind of blink. Oh, right. Okay. And she just. Oh, he's never wrong about this. You just hear Britta talking. Uh, Never wrong about the weather. I get the feeling. I'm just saying. I used to know when weather happens. Not anymore, but I used to. 
In the back of her head, she's thinking, In my old body when it used to ache when weather change. <laughs> my character just kind of casts a quick little spell. It does say something about I can predict the weather. Uh, uh, looks sure. like it's going to be a torrential downpour. Like this kind of, like, for what it's predicting, it's going to last for days. Right. This will only so, for like, the next 24 hours. That's it. <laughs> so I know within this day it's going to rain. Yep, it's going to rain. Oh, no, no, not this day. Oh, it wouldn't have an effect. He said the next two days. Oh. Uh, ah. So your spell basically just does not. It says, it's going to be sunny with a few clouds. And if you look over here, you'll see a few thunder clouds down south moving north. Well, it technically just goes, oh, it's a golden orb for it's going to be a clear day. I know, but I like to imagine as the voice of like a meteorologist lady. <laughs> just for flavor. Text. <laughs> just for silliness. It's me some reason oh no 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 just for flavor i just like to imagine like it's going to be sunny with a few clouds like oh my god it's gonna be great Work on that 10 <laughs> um after breakfast after everything out since scenes out the barrel heat um um uh, pursue uh your probably uh an undead cast magic in the vicinity of in the walls of the I'm going to search for that undead and figure out what it was casting. Uh, you come, you start heading towards the, the direction, and you see a large black um hole. In reality, as you see disguised eyes walk through uh the spell you know as gate. Not ready to murder. Oh my gosh, eyes! Hello, it's been a while. Ah. Uh. It's about to go murder someone. <laughs> My apologies for the no warning. Sorry. And you see another individual appear out of the gate. It is a very heavily armored Albedo. I know this because the horns are sticking out of the black armor she's currently wearing. And the current anger coming off of her as she looks at me. <laughs> Most likely. Oh, you can feel her glaring underneath that closed helm. There's just like... Ah. <laughs> yeah, just hello again. My apology for anything, but my maids told me here I have some very important information that I must give you. Uh, that's fine. I was going to send you a message pretty soon about new information too. Ah, so we can collaborate. Can you get your uh, group together. Hey. Uh, Yes, uh... I wish for all of them, and we can the information together as need. I, I warn you, there is someone new? Well... Yes, I can sense him dead. And probably one more. I don't think you ever met the slime. He's met the slime. Really? Uh, he once. Okay. Okay, uh, yeah, uh, we just picked that one up. Give me a moment, uh, let me go... Of course, take your time. Everybody. We will, I will discuss with the chief, and we will meet house if that is yep meet you there <laughs> by the way Hello. even though your nature is exuding against him notice that he doesn't affected aversely by it did he seem surprised uh you did see that he cocked his head to the side when he first saw you but then you know just made it no mind yeah okay probably the only other person that knows who i am okay i'll try to gather everybody together Okie dokie. Play that out. <laughs> to the back cave. Dun, 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 dun. All right. Fritz, you're coming with me. Synth, silence. Oh. Uh, you know. Yes, ma'am. Mr. Elderick. Elderick is Not here. Elderick. Elderick. <laughs> I'm getting all the nicknames today. Elderick. Please come with us, Elderick. too. You're going um. to be a very special person just like us. Come. Uh. Uh, okay, I'm kind of scared, but uh, I don't really have room to protest. It's like your birthday um, when you go to Chuck E. Cheese and you meet the rat. Hey. <laughs> well, you head towards the... It's better to meet him here than at his home. I hate that place. <laughs> uh, you head towards the... Because you're late. But... I will yeah. never go through that freaking portal again, okay? Before we go... Uh, yeah, go ahead. <laughs> Can I grab Hildrick by the pseudo shoulder? And tell him 
specifically say Lord Eins if anybody else is around. Lord Eins? I... Lord, trust me, it's better this way. Eins? I, I think I've heard the name, right? Yeah. Of course, you were part of the, of the game. Guild, right? But yeah. Lord Eins, like a person? Just trust me on this one. Uh, okay. All right, then get out there. You head uh, towards the chief's hut. The chief and the wife both exit the house, and they leave you alone with Ein and Albedo. Nobody else is here? Nobody else is in the door. The windows are all shut and locked. And yeah, as soon as you probably lock going the to door, question. <laughs> well, Hildrick, as soon as the door is opened, your undead nature, you feel... There is an individual inside that room that is far superior to you. Uh, of undead nature. Maybe second thought, guys. I'll like stand guard and uh, yeah, I, get I'm getting your st- butt in here. <laughs> <laughs> if I have that... to go through it, you have to go through it. Is your skin crawling? Cause oh my god, my skin oh, crawls like... even by you. So get your butt in here. Oh, it's. Like, not skin like for you, more like, don't, like, your very nature, you want to say anything that would cross this individual. <laughs> all right, I got this. All right, all right. You walk um, in, as soon as the door closes behind all of you, you <laughs> all just see that Eins takes off a face mask that he's wearing, and Hildrick, you see an elder lich before you. Oh, oh my god. Uh, uh, falling to my knees, I, 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 I gotta pay respect. I'm gonna bow down, lower my head. Chris does that. Lord Ainz, I like this one better than any of the rest. My character was doing the the polite bow. I'm not. Doing I know, but the, <laughs> like, she, Rosie Alberto just kind of gives her a what, whatever. <laughs> H- Hildrich, oh. this is Lord Ainz, but uh, hold on, he's just like us. Just like us. Emotions. Or the t- Wait, you mean from Igdishal? He nods. Oh no! So so it's the same Ainz from the guild. Well, named yeah. after the guild. Originally, I was Momon. Now I call Ainz down to get mine there. See if any of my old guildmates still in this world. Uh, I had a pleasure to meet your acquaintance. I mean, I've uh, I've heard so much about you. I'm. Uh, yes, personally, I've never seen someone in a Franken avatar before. Yes, uh... <laughs> that was uh, part of the later edition, I'm to understand the... Right, I'm, I'm quite a new player, certainly not as experienced as you are. Ah, uh, no worries. This, the Elderlet skeleton was part of the Alpha, after all. I, I certainly can tell. Now please, sit, we have a lot to... Um, uh... Is there a chair big enough for me? <laughs> uh, there is a barrel. Uh, that'll do. Just don't try to break it. It's not our house. Oh. I'm gonna try and be oh. as gentle as possible. Yeah, it's all of you, he, he's just very gently. Your slight. But it holds. Nailed it. As you all sit down, he takes off his gloves. See the all bone, all like the enchanted rings on his hands. Hey, that's unfair. You started with all your shit, didn't you? Lost all our. Oh, right. You, you don't know about that. Uh, there was reasons for our group to lose our stuff. Some people looked around and kept their stuff due to special circumstance. Yes, we. I am fully aware. The hacker. We discovered him. What? Yes, the hacker. The live. How in the world did that. Well. Minus the well. Is he undead now? Controlled by no. the freak? Worse. His body is being restrained. Oh, much easier to show you. A better, the item. Lord Ainz. She bows her head and her grab. Small pouch. Pull a humongous mirror out of it. Sets it at the end of the table and it starts levitating. Oh, just I at love the end this of the item. Table. This is a mirror of remote view. Normally, you can't see within buildings or solid structure. But if you cast Witch's Eye and create a sensory organ, you can actually see within place that either you or your allies have been pulled out. Then to scout to the location of an ancient place that I was sensing a lot of magic from. My scout discovered this. He starts casting the spell. 
and you see very large boom by the can i get a history or religion check from everyone yes please yes specialty oh no very good no Rozu. very good uh unix you know nothing <laughs> why did i Giant throw a freaking two uh, I don't know why I rolled god dang religion. Actually, without without any modifiers, you got better than silence. Or Rozu. <laughs> That's so fair. Yeah, right, Rozu right, rolled a two. Jack. I go. <laughs> wow. All right, so. Wow. That's worth it now. Oh, okay, that's a little show bit off. better. Show okay, off. that's a little bit better. Uh, roll 20 was really compensating there for, for a second. Um, So, Synth? You know this um, only because you got really bored in Castle one day uh, of the can. Basically, you read a book about local religion and history of temples. It looks this looks to be an abandoned temple of the god of death, Shurashana. This is an abandoned temple with a lot of pillars, and clearly, uh, it looks to be a statue of Shurashana. As his head beheaded, the head is nowhere to be found. T limbs have been cut off, and use of the wings as if someone had clipped the wing of a bird. I'll relay this to everyone else, in case they don't. Oh, of course I want to know that my freaking religion book only had the freaking fake god of death in it. Um, you do know that, um, uh, uh, uh Ein speaks up, he's like, yes, you are correct. Mr. Synth, this is a temple of Shurashana. This is the world's god of death. Now, points out two things that you did not notice. He sweeps it to the slight side, and you see two bodies hanging suspended off the ground. You see a mummified doll hanging the rafters. Ugh, oh goodness. And you see a... You see... Um, a, uh, a, the hacker, without his cape, without his hood to protect his face. You just see what looks to be a normal human being hanging there, clearly been tortured within an inch of his life. Like, his arms have been slashed in ways that, um, might bring up bad memories for people, so I will not go into graphic detail, but it's typical for people who can't stand life anymore and attempt suicide um uh his legs have been slashed uh, you see multiple abrasions on his body uh, he has been flogged relentlessly on both his front and back and you see that his achilles tendons were slit and then healed this has been done repeatedly. okay bailiff is a freak and in black armored yes. fucking hell act it's not even the one in charge uh, was it the bald dude? Shifts the, the vision over to the left. Really over to the left. And you see silhouettes. I get a perception. Okay. I'll see how well so I can give you details on. Ha! Natural 20! Holy shit, Rozu! Yeah! Silence! That? Holy shit, let's go! Oh. Sam, holy god! Oh. <laughs> Let's okay. keep it going! Fritz! 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 <laughs> Hildrick, you fucked it up, how dare you! <laughs> no! No! What's with the modified 20? <laughs> it's okay, we still love you! <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, he doesn't know much about this, he's still traumatized by the torture. Oh god, actually you're right! Oh my god. Anyway, uh, with those amazing perception checks, everyone but Hildrick can make out the equals in and the th oh, even Hildrick can one little detail specifically above their heads. Wait. Each of these individuals have titles. Above their heads. Titles are granted in the world of Yggdrasil to our players. What? Man, these are some crazy uh, things. The I'm most important at. one you see in, in the middle of the room. You see that this individual very thin wears a well pressed black hair, glasses, like eyes. And you see the words administrative game above his head. Freaking one of the creators of Yggdrasil is here. What? Does he have like any country symbols on him or anything like that? 
uh, you see the symbol of Pan. Of just Pan? Oh, Japan. Oh, Japan. Japan. Okay. A, a Pan. A Pan. <laughs> but nothing else. With him. Along with him, you see individuals that are crouched or standing around him that are all very listening to what he say or is about to say. Um, you all, except for Hildrick, see individuals very clearly. Um, they have titles over their heads, and you instantly know they are. The titles given to the individuals are unique titles that no one else can achieve. These are one per person. Whoever is the most proficient in this gains that title. And then, once all the people have gained said titles, they are forced to a guild as per the game rule. You see the titles. Gluttony. Lust. Pride. Rage. Sloth. Titles of the Seven Deadly Sins. Second most dangerous guild. Yggdrasil. Okay, that's messed up. You see that this spectrum covers a lot of people. There is a Nurgled that has... You see a Nurgled inside of the group that has the title of Gluttony. You know what a Nurgled is? No. Uh, it reminds me of something from Warhammer 40k. Uh, it's a giant, grotesque frog. Oh, damn. Um, actually, uh, who made it popular was one particular Matthew Mercer. Uh, let me show you, actually, looks like Discord. Um, so if you can, pull it up, or at least look at it. Yeah, I'll put it in the bots later. Um, so I'm gonna post it. This is a Nurgled. Holy shit, big boy. Uh... Giant frog demon. Uh, you like see, a... yep, uh, you see, uh, uh, one of these individuals has multiple titles. And you know that that shouldn't be possible. Like, the fact that this person somehow has multiple titles means that somehow the uh, mechanics of the game broke or somebody directly cheated in order to get it. Uh, you see that they have earned titles Rage, uh, Fury, and Pride. Fury. And Pride. Uh, and also that this individual also has another title along with it. Oh, no. That only Rozu would be aware of. I was afraid of that. You see, title, death. Wait. Whoever is this individual earned your former title being one of the four horsemen. And you see that this individual this is... has very That's heavy black armor red. with a red cape. And looks human. I know, this person looks humanoid, but you can't really see his face. He's really big. Oh. Black armor, red cape, the crown. Oh. My baby boy. <laughs> no, I was talking about the one that was Fury is human. Oh, no, I'm talking about uh, Fury, uh, the deadly sin. Yeah, you told me he was human. Oh, no. The, the Four Horsemen of the Apocalypse is a different kind of Fury. Oh. Yeah. There's two different kinds of fury. The Horseman of Fury, which is more of a fury of justice. Oh. And this is more like chaos fury. Like, I will kill everyone who doesn't, who annoys oh, me. Oh, then fury. it's the other one. Two different kinds. Okay, so that's not the fool We're human. learning this the hard way. <laughs> um, let's see here. Uh, with Jack, also see uh, one of the... Uh, uh, one of the individuals has the word lust over their head. This person looks, well, um, let's just say uh, it's proper that they are a succubus um, of some sort. You know that they are a succubus. And you see that all these individuals are closely listening to this normal looking. With your perception checks, you do notice that the person standing in front of the vision, sort of, off to the side, is Valif. Black armored Valif. Is Dal in the room? Actually, no. Is Barbarus in the room? Yes. Where? He looks like he's heavily... You you see him in a cage. He looks emaciated. In the room, they... does it have crystals all around? Oh, actually. No? No. They moved. Dang it! Um, and with this, uh, you, uh, you do see, um... With your perception checks, abruptly see a lift, which 
turns slightly towards and then looks directly into the hole where the mirror is looking, looking directly at all of you. And you see him deliberately move to the side so you can clearly move, see everything. One last you question. You see him... Oh, of course, go ahead. Due to my sight, is anybody seeing disguised that I can see through? Yes, actually. You see that the individual who is administrator is clearly disguised. Then what uh, does you he see really it, look like? Is n you see a very familiar face, actually. Not from the new world, from the old one. Familiar? Uh, yes. In the world of Yggdrasil, there was once a developer of the game that got publicly fired for trying to develop a boss that was too hard for players to go up against. This is that individual. Older gentleman. It's to be in his 60s. He was publicly fired. All right, sorry. I had to ask. Yes. Uh, you see him, like, really irate. He was like, What is taking so long? You're all incompetent. I gave you titles. I gave you power. I hasn't anything done. Try. You see, trying to unknown world is difficult to say the least. Don't you? I will control this world's resources. Yeah. You will be my soldiers. I can take your power away. That. So much missed opportunity. So much oil. So much money to be had. This world doesn't even have ice cream. <laughs> True. You know how upsetting really? that is? I don't like how close. Uh, he sounds a little Then too some close. asshole decides, oh, I'm going to invent chess, or chess and call it checker. <laughs> I don't know who that is, but they annoy me. We all slowly turn to synth. I had to pull the a woman out of the thing place in order to interrogate her. Now she's dead. Oh, this guy has problems. I'm going to yeah. control the world. And you, beautiful boy, are going to help me. You're you gotta... Yes, my creator. <sighs> I got a feeling that he purposely showed us this shit. Be like, yeah, we don't like this guy. You see Valif's currently behind his back, and you see him writing a message air. Help me. <laughs> Help me. Kill this fuck. It reads, it reads, Human will be moved. The Toad Man settlement. All right. That uh, definitely sounds like a trap. I mean, looks like a trap. Uh... Your perception, too, and almost everybody else, you see something that is slightly different about Valif. His boots are no longer black. His boots have changed color. Almost a solid white with gold embellished. Oh dear lord! And you oh. see that th that the uh, that this has not stopped. It looks like whatever is happening is crawling up his leg. He's got drip. He got the drip. It's slowly turning his armor from black to white. I lent the name. <laughs> I think I know who it is, but I don't want to say. This is out of character knowledge. Oh, um, abruptly, you do see Black Kate open up. The other one, the bald one, peer through the gate. One, Rozu. Doll. Rozu, you there? Are you stunned to yeah. silence or something? No, somebody basically fired off a bomb, fireworks, something in front of our house. Okay. Oh, shit, um, is everything okay? Yeah. I hate teenagers. Yeah. Well, um, uh, you see Doll peer through the gate, and you see him carrying the head of Valkyrie. What's the head? Rozu broke up. Oh! And that's Valef's shadow. And you see that doll now wearing black reed. Valef is his is white now. I get a history. Um, everyone? This is based off of knowledge from... Alright. That's not too I bad. Believe. Silence! Jesus! Yeah! Oh, Silence. natural 20! Nice! <laughs> it just makes Holy sense since you was a hacker. Oh my god. <laughs> Eldrick, you poor, poor thing! also... <laughs> Rolling so low. I got yeah. a 15, so I may know the least, but it's something. I have a 20. Okay, okay so Rozu, Silent. Both realize what's going on. This is something in the flaw of the programmer of this particular character. 
This is what happens. Basically, whoever programmed this guy, which is all you see in the tux that is clearly disguising himself, really didn't know what he and he was programming the guy's personality. The personality is glued to the overall character's race and class, as well as alignment. So when he was ordered, so when the shadow left him, it's like the example of the unnamed Namekian from Dragon Ball. One half is good, one half is bad. They switch roles. Horrified. Yes. Yeah. Well, the bald one you see is the evil. One you are familiar with is slowly being purified to good. That's why Ozu in silence, you know why he deliberately... This is a lot of news. It looks like Yuri knew about... She points to Dal. Him. I don't even know who that is. Who is that? Wait, you told me he was a player, remember? Oh, I said he's a player. Points to the guy with the well-pressed suit. Yes, we can all see his title. But when I thought I... he was a player, badly taken. My source was not credible. Uh... Unfortunately, when the news came to me, the individual was under a lot of stress. Yeah, probably got mind manipulation too, because points to Dal. That's points to Vela. His shadow. His shadow? Oh no. Yeah. No, you don't understand. This is not good. When something is made pure evil from the start and then it is slowly purified, do you know what that does to an NPC? Don't know, never got that far high up. Well, let's just say he manages to be com completely purified before his master notices. The one you hate the most, the one in black armor, a turn in one of your kind. She kind of flinched a bit. That's not totally bad, but also not liking the part that the other guy is going to turn totally evil too. That is not good as well. But have front. Told you I have multiple. See, I a spy he shifts the thing a little bit. And you see one of uh one of his death knights is being is currently chained to the wall and being studied. Really? Works. Uh... Besides, with this, points to the orb inside of his rage, it couldn't possibly ever, although without a world-class item, it couldn't possibly turn. Because this in itself is a world-class item. Yeah, I Good did news. scry on them before, but they were in a cave, and now they moved, and now they're going to move again. Yes, my spy did indicate that they're going to be moving very soon. But he already has the location of where they're going to be moving. Eh, if somebody has the ability to mean bad things, my character's thinking about this. But, Me in particular. But you can't remember, this is not a game anymore. Yes, well, unfortunately, administrative privileges are only available to those of guild masters. They can't really manipulate the world around them as they will unless they have a particular world item. Not even... Game masters in the alpha or beta had that ability. Ah, okay. Make sure. Yeah, deadly sins have to join the same group. They're forced to do this. It's just, I don't like the fact that the players are okay with this. They're not. What? Doing it under threat. Apparently, this individual, the administrator, points at him. Apparently, has a connection to the old world and is threatening their families. They don't do what he says. Wait, so he still has connection with the old world? That's what he like, bought into. I'm not sure if it's true or not. He has been seen talking to himself and screaming to an invisible person from time to time. But, oh. I also came here as a response to this news of an invasion coming soon. Yeah, your she looks to Alberta. Next to him. Alberta? It's Alberto. <laughs> Sorry, Alberto. Oh, I'm so happy she's not really here or Alber I'll be dead. Al Alber Alberta is is uh, Alberto's fat cousin. Oh. Fat German cousin. Oh, hello. Hush, hush. Your burger. Uh, but looks to her, well, your mates, children, uh, either way, uh... Said it was a trouble and you had nothing to worry about, so I was concerned since people here were in danger. In danger. Oh, 
Unfortunately, this is a personal matter for me. See, I have a personal investment into this village. And proceeds to produce potions. Table. Three potions. One from the game of Yggdrasil, one that seems to be blue in nature, and one that's purple. I have blue. no idea what the purple one does. Yeah, oh, I one. I think I have some of this world potions. Blue, uh, yeah, you have blue ones. Yeah. It's like, this red one from Yggdrasil. Oh, I missed those. Blue, blue one are from this world. This purple developed by pharmacist here in this village it is a healing potion. That is more effective than the blue ones. I plan on making the standard this world. That way people won't die so easily. I may be undead, but they're for people. If you could get the red ones, even looks to Hildrick, maybe he can even use it. Maybe. Well, actually, interestingly enough, Albedo! Yes, my lord. Seeds to brandish her axe and walk towards Hildrick. Uh, uh... Ashes you in the face. <laughs> Oh. Roll the hit. <laughs> your no, your nose gets it, it's for flavor. Oh. your nose gets broken. A couple of teeth uh, are loose, and then he uncocks the purple one, throws it on you. The nose looks better than before, and the teeth are grown back. <laughs> what was that for? Prove you the effect. Normally, a blue potion wouldn't be able to fix something like broken teeth. This can. The benefits of this? This is why I must protect this village. Potential of having someone who knows how to create red potion isolates beyond. Yeah, but we can't let looks to the mayor those people know about it. Oh, no worries. His development is top secret. I've emphasized that to the chief. Yeah. Also, oh. I've heard that there is a particular individual that in the battle on the aid of the Creatures, I will be taking care of this personally, along with the king, who take care of the problem of the alliance. Wait, what? You won't have to worry about the spellcaster. I'll take care. Of oh, that's lovely. I mean, that way, silence can just blow a lot of those things up. Woohoo! Your friend is right. very excitable, and I like her. Yeah, I like the idea of blowing things up. Yeah. Just be and careful. Even though that you like blowing things up, be careful about the people around you. There is a god in the forest. I've seen she yes, can do. A god? I've never seen her personally. I've seen what she can do. Okay, That's unfortunately, it, one of my death knights decided to uh, chop down a, a still alive tree and uh, pissed her off and she tore it limb. I'm pretty sure we're trying to help her in this situation. Yes, that is why I'm urging be careful about blowing the horse up because you might. Carol, I'll figure out something to maybe do other there than explosions. Well, if we do it out in the plains, it should be fine. Yes. Well, oh, on that, Mr. Sim. Yes, right. I have something that I promised you. Go. Seeds to open a gate, and you see ten individuals cross the threshold. And there you see the group of change. And that's where we're going to end the session. This is a breathtaking pace.